Hello friends. This is going to be the start of a market prep vlog. I've got some yarn. It's a burnout baby blanket and I've got a free pattern. It's a pig. Feel free to grab a cup of something cozy and let's get into it. Hey, hey, I finished this little plush and I think that they are so cute little pig here and it's a free pattern this guy was made with a free pattern I got from Instagram so you know I'm gonna link it down below yesterday I posted a video called um, crocheting with yarn my husband bought and so technically this guy is the second guy I've made with this cute uh, Bernat baby blanket yarn because yesterday in my original video, I used the pattern Tiny Fantasy Creatures by Blue Paw Print Crochet. And um, I made like a little guy with some of the hand painted eyes I made in my previous, previous video from today. So um, this has been like a really fun little vlog series. And if you're enjoying this one, I hope you will check it out. That pig was so much fun to make and turned out to be such a cute little guy that I think I'm going to use this remaining yarn, maybe not all of it, but definitely some of this remaining yarn here to make more. Yay! I just finished making my second, um, crocheting my second piggy guy and now I think I'm going to need to take a break. Okay everyone, I'm back from taking a break. I wanted to eat fried mushrooms from Slim Chickens, but instead I just made a sandwich because I did spend a substantial amount of my recent paycheck on yarn. The yarn won't be here for a few days, so I'm like currently in this waiting period of having like one yarn to work with, which is this uh, Bernat baby blanket. I also have some black yarn that I had gotten to finish up uh, one of the bats. And we're getting close to Halloween and I have one market left. I already have some Halloween plushies, plushies prepped. So I kind of want to hold off on using the black and making more bats for now. Before we move on, I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of these two piggies next to each other. I want fried mushrooms so bad. Just wanted to show you that I finished my third guy. I'm going to go ahead and start on a fourth. Yay! Here are the little guys that today we got to make. It's time to get ready for bed and I'll pick up on this again tomorrow. See you then. Hey everyone, it's Courtney. I just got back from work and then running an errand. And I think it's time that I sit down with the rest of this, um, is this a pint? Um, 14 fluid ounces of ice cream that's left over from yesterday. I'm gonna take my pattern out and let's get back to some crochet. I wonder that it might be a good idea to go ahead and maybe try out a different pattern because I did make four of these cute, um, these cute little guys. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> They're still right there. Um, I'll browse around on Instagram and see what I see. Okay, I looked through what Instagram had to offer and I think that this pig is kind of what I'd like to continue to make. Maybe, maybe a Loso ghosty. That sounds pretty good too. Mm, should I make a pig or a ghost? I'm trying to decide, you know what? Let me go with the ghost. That way, because since I already have four pigs, that way it'll give uh, customers maybe a little bit more choice. Wow. So cute. I made this pattern with a free pattern on the Instagram by Crochet with Bay. I've got to take a break. There's some other things that I've got to do, but hopefully I'll be back real soon so I can continue to crochet.
I'm back and making a second ghost. Yay, so for this one, I found these oval eyes and I didn't know I had those in my toolbox here. They're pretty much just your basic safety eyes, but they have this cool shape. I ordered these from Walmart online, but you can get safety eyes from a variety of different places, including Amazon. Our second guy. Well, I had a few extra dollars and I decided I'd like to purchase a new pattern to crochet. I saw this one online and I wonder if you, I love it so much. I wonder if you can tell what it is already, just by the way, um, the front of its face is. This is a pattern I bought on Etsy. It's from Handmade by Nikkel. I finished stuffing the head and I think it looks so cute. I finished Sitholhu and I have no words to say. I love this guy so much. If you want to make him, check out Handmade by Nikkel and I'll have it linked. I clearly have got to show you my Sitholhu because who says good night. I think I'm gonna pick this video up again tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I said I'd go ahead and close off the video for tonight, but I have one more thing I wanna show you, and it is everything that I've made so far with one skein of Bernat baby blanket that my husband picked up from Walmart. He's so nice, thank you. Hold on, that wasn't everything. I have one thing left. Wow, it kind of feels like they're like all the farm town haunts coming out and like looking up at the sky. We love you, Sithulu. You know I've got to show you how much I have left of that one skein. And this is it. This is all I have left. So as you can see, this is like a pretty small scrap size ball. I mean, if this was fingering weight yarn, it would be a lot more, but you see how thick it is. Um, it is a size uh, six, a number six bulky weight. So this is probably going to make like one, maybe two miniature pumpkins. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I'd be surprised if it stretched and made it to two. You've already seen the little pumpkins and I've already got, you know, I've already feel like I've come to a spot where I can close it up. So I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.